Selling on the TikTok shop is an absolute goldmine of an opportunity. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a complete A to Z masterclass when it comes to setting up and creating your first TikTok shop ad campaign. Let's get into it. All right, so let's dive right into it and to give myself a little bit of credibility for those that don't know me, my name is Trevor Peterson. I've been selling things online for the last seven years. I've done over eight figures in e-com sales. And today I wanna to give you a complete step-by-step -step process on setting up your first TikTok shop ad campaign. Like I mentioned, it's a massive opportunity. It's a goldmine of an opportunity. and learn Learning this skill set is going to be one of the most valuable things that you can do right now. So go to TikTok seller account. So log into your seller center account and come over here to the marketing tab and hit shop ads. And from here, you can scroll down and you're going to hit go to TikTok ads manager to manage ads created on TikTok ads manager. This is going to take you to ads.tiktok.com. And what's cool is if it's your first time doing that, it's basically going to ask you to link your ad account to your TikTok seller center account. And just like that, it makes it super streamlined. You don't have to update any pixels where if you're selling, for example, on Shopify, updating pixels from Google and Facebook and Instagram, it's not like the most complicated thing, but it's not the easiest thing where TikTok, since it's all under one place, it is so easy. Literally anyone can do this. So from here, you have campaign ad groups and ads. So we're going to create our first campaign and I'll walk you guys through the entire step-by-step -step process. So the first thing is the advertising objective. So from here, you are going to either look to uh, create awareness, consideration, or conversion. And for me, since I am selling a product, I want to go for product sales since I am selling my product on the TikTok shop. Now, if you have, for example, a, a different offer or a different product and you are selling outside of TikTok, then you might want to have a different advertising uh, objective. But if your main goal is to increase sales on TikTok shop, this is the strategy. So right here, product sales, TikTok shop. From here, you can create a campaign name. So you can do product sales uh, first, we'll just do first campaign. And then if you want, you can even name it after me if you would like to give me a little bit of credit. But if you guys are enjoying, make sure to subscribe. We'll hit continue. And then from here, it's going to take us to the ad group name. And from here, this is where we're going to basically create our audience of who we are actually going to be offering our ads to. So for this example, I'm going to say that I am selling a dog leash and collar. And it, this is going to make sense here in a second, but basically what you need to do is obviously you are selling a specific product. And so with that product, you need to understand who is buying your product and what people are interested in that are buying your product. And uh, so what you're gonna do is you're going to create the ad group name. So I'm gonna do ad group one, and I'm gonna say uh, dog leash audience. And then from there, I'm going to come over here and we've got the shop ads type. I'm gonna do video shopping ads. And then we'll come over here to the TikTok shop. And so you'll link that. And then we've got the placement. You can do advanced settings, uh, user comment, allow video download. I'm just going to keep that activated. And then from here, this is where you're going to get into the audience, the demographics and all the different things that I just uh, mentioned uh, previously. And so what we're going to do is we're not going to worry about the audience with uh, the optional. So including one or more categories or excluding, we're just gonna focus on the demographics and and then the interest and behaviors. So we're gonna keep it very, very simple. And over here, you'll see the available audience, like they have a massive audience. And so you don't want it to be too broad, but you don't want it to be too narrow. You want to be able to give TikTok the ability to serve your ad to a targeted audience that's not, again, too broad, but not too narrow. So as we go through this, it'll start making more and more sense. So the first thing is location. Obviously, if you are selling your products in the US, that's where you want to do. If you're selling outside or if you're somewhere else, that's where you're going to uh, select is the actual location. Then the age. If your product is specifically, let's say for um, a certain demographic of this age to this age, then that is what you're going to want to do. In this case, everyone has a dog and everyone is going to be buying collars and leashes for their dog. So I'm not going to put an age requirement. But if you are selling a product specifically for an age group, then yes, you are going to want uh, to specify the age. And then the same thing with gender. If your product is for females only, then put female. But if it's for both, then just put all. Languages, I'm going to leave all. And then this is where I'm going to enter in the interests and behaviors. So I'm gonna start typing and I'm just gonna say dog. And then from here, 
I'm going to hit return and there are a ton of interests of dogs. So I'm going to click on dogs. I'm going to do um, dogs love, large dogs, since I have collars and leashes for small and large. So I'm going to do small dogs, four dogs, uh, that dogs. Um, we've got a ton of different things that are relevant. Uh, dog training. So if someone's interested in dog training, they might want my uh, my leash. We've got dogs of TikTok. Dogs are the best. So if people are interacting with these hashtags, that means that they're actually interested in um, the dogs. And so we've got a bunch and then I can come over here and I can type in dog leash, for example. So we've got that is a very specific one. We'll do, we'll add that. And then we've got dog collar. We can see if we can add that one and see if it comes up. So there wasn't anything for dog collar or dog collars. So we'll say pet leashes. We'll see if anything comes up there. No, nope. we've got pet collars. Nope. So that is where you're just going to start typing in different things until you come across different things. So right here, you've got pets. So this is a really large uh, interest that you can kind of dissect into different categories, pet grooming, pet toys, pet travel accessories, pet household products. Um, and as you can see over here, it says your audience is too narrow. So that's where I'm trying to come up with a few more. So if I come over here back to the pets, I'll say pets and household products. And as I do that, it just grew my audience quite a bit and it's balanced. So we've got a lot of people, but it's pretty targeted. If people are interested in these products, they are more than likely interested in my dog collar and leash. So from there, I'm going to continue on the device. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, but again, if, for example, if you're trying to get downloads for a certain uh, device, whether it's iOS or Android, um, you can run ads to get downloads, for example. So that's where you would want to do that. Or if your product only works, for example, if you're selling an iPhone case, well, you wouldn't want to target somebody that is using an Android. So those are just some things to kind of consider um, depending on your product. And then we'll do the daily budget. And we're going to start with at least $50. And from here, you can go in and adjust it. And if you want to start with even less, you totally can. Um, you can start with a minimum of $10. And uh, what I recommend is basically take your product and if your product is selling for $100, try to spend at least $100 um, a day in ads. Um, and if that's a little too much, then okay, spend 50% of that. So let's say uh, my product is selling for, let's say 50 bucks because it's a collar and leash set. Um, I'll just say 25 bucks. And then from there, you can say start uh, the start time the run ad group continuously. So I'm going to set it and start it on this date and I'm not going to have an end time. Now, by doing that, you need to make sure that you are monitoring this because if you don't have an end time, then it will just keep running forever and it'll just keep charging your card. So this is something that you do need to check and periodically look and see if things are working. And for me, I'm just going to set it and run it continuously because I am continuing to optimize and seeing what's working and what's not adding, changing basically on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, Again, if something's working, I don't want to have an end time. I'm just going to run it forever. And then right here, day parting, we'll just do all day. You can put it at a specific time if you want. And then the optimized goal. So for me, what I like to do is just gross revenue, but you can do for purchases, initiate checkouts, uh, clicks, gross revenue. It says maximize your gross revenue to achieve the highest possible return on ad spend. So that is what I do. And then from here, you can do a target ROAS. Me personally, I'm not going to do that right now just because I don't want it too constrained. I want to give TikTok basically the ability to go out and try to find who my target audience is because the more that they have the leeway to do that, the better they're going to perform. And then from there, you can kind of fine tune. Uh, you've got some advanced settings as well and that I'm not going to worry about. And then from there, we've got our ad group set up. So I'm going to hit continue. And then it's going to take us to the next step, which is actually creating the ad itself. So from here, you're going to want to specify the ad and basically give it a name. So if you just want to do first, uh, first ad name first or whatever you want to do to kind of keep it organized, you can do that. From here, you're going to add the product details. And since on this account, I don't have any products, um, you, you would, if you have a TikTok shop account, you would add the product that you are looking to advertise. You can search it. And then from there, you're going to add the product. Then from there, you've got the ad creative. This is the most important part, literally. 
of the entire process. All the other stuff, like, yes, it's important, like coming up with the audience and all that. But if you have a bad ad creative, the ad is going to suck, period. And that is just how TikTok works. But if you have a good ad creative, that is where you're going to absolutely dominate. So right here, you have three different options. You can upload directly from a video that you created, or maybe you got it from um, some UGC creator that you paid and you got this ad. You can upload that directly. Or you can come right here to the TikTok posts. So these are videos that I've posted on this TikTok shop account. And so you could come right here and you could say, oh, I want to do this one. And this is actually um, a TikTok shop video that I did of a leash. And so this is just a good example. So I can select this and be like, okay, this one is a video that I posted, but I think it has good potential if I was to put some money behind it and run it as a TikTok shop ad. So right there, I'm gonna hit next. And so I picked that video and I would obviously pick the product associated with it. And then from there you hit publish. It is literally that simple. Like creating an ad on TikTok ads manager is the easiest thing I've ever seen. And what I wanna also show you is I'm gonna delete that. And the third ad creative that you can do is an affiliate post. And this is where it's extremely powerful. If you have affiliates promoting your products on TikTok, which I hope you do, if you don't, then you need to go basically recruit affiliates, create open collaborations, target collaborations, and invite people to basically make videos of your product. And in return, you send them a free sample. But with those product videos, you can actually run and boost them. And what that does is when you boost these videos, if they're already converting organically, if you put money behind them, then that is where you're going to really see an uptick in your sales. But when you do that, when you run and boost these affiliate posts, they're still going to get the affiliate commission because they created the ad creative. And so for me, what I personally like to do is I post organically, I try to recruit as many affiliates as possible. And from there, I see what is working organically from my posts and from my affiliate posts. They're not ads yet because they're organic videos. The videos that are organically getting sales without any promotions or any ads behind them, those are the videos that I want to put right here. And I want to boost them and I want to promote them because if they're working organically, you know that they're going to work when you have a specific audience, when you have... Um, money being pushed behind it because that's how TikTok makes more money. If you can generate, the more sales that you generate, the more money you are going to spend, the more uh, fees you're going to be paying to TikTok and the more TikTok makes in return. And so it makes it a win-win-win for everyone. And it's the same thing for the affiliates. If the affiliates are making money, they're gonna wanna make more videos about your product. If TikTok is making money, well, they're going to want to boost your products. If you're making money, you're gonna want to spend more. And it's just this basically domino effect. And so the ad creative is seriously the most important part. And so what I do is I, again, I'm taking my organic videos or my affiliate posts that are working, and then I'm going to create those and then I'm going to probably create like three to five ads and it, see what works. And then from there, I'm going to adjust. And if something is working, then I'm going to increase the spend. But if something's not working, then I'm going to turn it off. It's very, very simple. And it is as simple as that. That is the entire A to Z process on creating your first TikTok shop ad campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment. And if you guys have any other additional questions when it comes to selling on TikTok, I have some resources down below with some free training, some additional YouTube videos that I've done on a complete step-by-step -step process. But if, again, you are not taking advantage of the TikTok shop, it's a massive opportunity. You need to go and learn this skill set and start selling your products and learn how to run ads, learn how to get affiliates and really grow and take advantage of this massive wave of social commerce. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.